Hello! I am Bentham, and now I'm gonna go... F um, I just did the Osmos video, and it was pretty crap. I did a terrible job of making that interesting. But now I'm gonna try some Kerbal Space Program, and that I should be in my element with, th with this. I should be. I should be. Uh, yeah. Also, before we get started, I just tried uploading my first video, the loadout one, while I was talking and explaining everything. And what happened was... Um, it turns out that it was it would take six hours to upload it, so I went well. I suppose I'd just better get on with it. When it when it started uploading it, and then five hours in, I was just getting on with some other, some stuff. Opened a page and Internet Explorer decided to stop working, and um, destroyed all my progress. So I've had to start again. So while it's doing that, I'm going to record all this. And now I'm doing it in Google Chrome, because Internet Explorer is terrible. It just is. I don't know why I kept using it. Now I've given up on it, because that's five hours of not being able to use the Internet, because I'm letting it, I'm trying to get the bloody thing uploaded. Anyway, right. Uh, that, that's enough raging for now. So, Kerbal Space Program. The last time you saw me play this was back in update 0.13.3. And it's now 0.23.5. You can see it down here. Um, and a lot of stuff has happened in the intervening updates, let me tell you. Um, like a ridiculous amount. If, like I went back and looked at some videos of me playing back in point thirteen, and it just looks so terrible. And now it's amazing. So I'm I'm just going to demonstrate by playing because that's that's the best way to do it, obviously. So we're going to start a game. Um, we have a... I'm going to start a new one um, in career mode so there's now a bit of a sort of, of campaign thing you can do rather than just jumping in and having everything uh, uh, what, what, what shall we call it? I'll, I'll just call it mangled pork um, have I spelled that right? I have, well done me uh, now I haven't put my flag in this because I'm lazy but now they have the NASA flag, so I don't care. NASA flag is amazing. Well, I don't know. It, it's it's the NASA flag. You want to use the NASA flag. So, in we go. Let it load for a second. Here we go. We're in the... Uh, this is the, 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 the base. The, what, what's it called? My mind blanks at the most vital of times. This is... Kerbal Space Center, of course it is. Um, oh, there we go, we can look around and stuff. It's nice and cool, we've got all sorts of different things here. You've got the vertical assembly building for your rockets, you've got your um, space plane hangar for your space planes. Uh, that's the place for uh, hiring astronauts. You've got this research and development area, and you've got a tracking station as well, your launch pad, your runway and stuff. There's, there's a lot more stuff than there used to be. Um, we could pop into research and development. At the moment, we have these things. This is the stuff we've researched by knowing how space works or whatever and then we will we will aim for more stuff and the tree will get bigger and all that stuff uh... let's go back okay so we need to earn some science and with science we can unlock new parts and with new parts we can unlock more science so uh... what do we have we ne we have a pod we need a pod and then we have let's just put a solid fuel booster on this that seems safe uh, what else do we have here? A parachute, that's important to keep them alive. And then a Communitron 16. I will stick two of these on here and we will go. By the way, if you don't know what Kerbal Space Program is, go somewhere else. I believe I said this a very, very long time ago when I did my first video on it. I cannot be bothered giving you the detailed explanation because it's been done plenty of times before. I'm here to show people who know what Kerbal Space Program is what happens in it I don't know me playing I don't know just just watch me or something I, I'm not gonna name this thing it's just it's just a man on of the end of a firework basically we're just gonna launch this any second now loading times seem a lot longer when you're recording YouTube videos or maybe it is because I'm recording YouTube videos and that makes them longer because of lag. I don't know. Like at the moment I'm getting 20 frames per second and that's... Could be better. Hmm. Well, maybe it'll speed up the loading time because there won't be so many frames to do. 
I do not want to have to wait six hours for every single video. Okay, so we're on the launch pad. We've got Jebediah Kerman, of course. Um, and let's just go. Let's activate this booster. I don't know why I tried to throttle up. It's not like this has throttle. This is just you, you set it off and it goes and there's nothing you can do to stop it. And somehow these things are actually used by NASA. Crazy people. So we're just going to shoot off into the sky because that's totally safe. This is the first time any Kerbal has been off the ground other than when they jumped. We have some minor overheating but that should probably be fine. Look at all this cool stuff now. I mean the graphics are a lot better than before. I mean from here it, you, you could argue that it, it's still not great but really it, it's you can appreciate it. We're getting some atmospheric effects from all of the speed. We are in approaching Mach 2 to be fair. And now we're slowing down very fast. How high are we going to get? I'm going to time warp because watching something just slowly make its way upwards is not that interesting. Okay, it looks like we are reaching the top, so let's do a crew report. We've recorded the crew's assessment of the situation. I will transmit this using our communitron. We don't have any power supply on this, so that's our, that's our one transmission. We can't do another one because we don't have the power for it. So back down we go. Let's time warp this. We got some signs for transmitting that bit of information. Whatever it was. We don't know what it was. Can we go? I should probably activate the parachute. There we go. And now we will slowly make our way down. Well, we're still going quite fast because it's not opened yet. What do I say in this bit? Damn it, I need more experience in this. Now, I don't know if that parachute can support the pod and the rocket, but I have no way of removing the rocket, so we'll just have to see what happens. And the parachute's going to open. There it goes. Everything stayed together. And let's drop down. Slowly. Even in time warp. We're going to land back in the base. Nice and safe. Assuming this all goes well. There may be explosions. Oh my. Well, we're fine. It was a bit bumpy. In fact, Jebediah is actually kind of concerned. Which is very worrying. Okay, we can do another crew report. This is our space center. Ah. Uh, I didn't know. Right, let's get out. It whoa, it's glitching a little bit there. That's weird. It and we shall make an EVA report. A spacesuit was not entirely necessary to get here. And then we'll take a surface sample. <laughs> this substance is what makes the scientists yell at us when we go into the labs without cleaning our boots first. We will keep that. I'd, I'm not going to bother planting a flag. It'll just clutter up the place. It'll get in the way of all the rockets. We'll get back inside and then we can recover this. And... The loading times are definitely longer. Okay, so we, we're in some signs for the various things that we did. So let's go over to the the science lab place. And we can spend, we've got 21 signs, we will spend 5 of it to unlock new rocket stuff. So we now have decouplers and more fuel types and also the mystery goo containment units used for all sorts of interesting sciencey things. And we can also, I think, we can't unlock those two but we can unlock this because it's cheaper. And this will give us a different type of engine, some landing legs and more parachutes. So we'll get that. And then we can make bigger, better rockets. And I think because I found out that um, it takes a million years to upload videos, I'm going to make them fairly short. And so I think I'll probably end this one here. I mean, the future ones will be longer probably because I'll be doing more than just firing a missile into the sky and then dropping it back onto the space center. 
Um, so, but yeah, I, I'll I'll cut this here and see how it goes and see what progress has been made on uploading my video using Chrome because I'm really getting fed up of this. I was going to it, it's like I was it was I was gonna upload it today and that's today for me, not you. And it, that's probably yesterday. For, no, it's the, the day before yesterday for you, and the video will have gone up yesterday or something. I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go along. So that's um, my first little bit of, of KSP, kind of crap really. I'm not doing well with this. I've not made anything like particularly interesting, but it will it will improve. It will definitely improve because now I have more parts and I can do more stuff with said parts. So uh, I've got a bit of time. I'll show you one last thing. Go to the tracking center. And let's zoom out. So first of all, we have this massive solar system here with uh, various planets in. We've got Moho and Eve, there's Kerbin, we've got Juna, Drez, Jule, and Elu. And quite a lot of these have moons, particularly Jule has a lot of moons. Look at this. If we zoom in, it's got five of them. Look at that. So maybe one day we will visit all of the moons. And if we go back over to Kerbin, oh we've not focused on Kerbin, we focused on one of these, but it's okay because this is what I was going to show you. You see we have asteroids. Well, at the moment, they're unknown objects, which are obviously asteroids. They've got various um, sizes to them, using uh, on a scale of A to E. Let's see. Let's track one. Is there an A? There is no A. That's a shame. We'll have to, we'll get a B, and we can track that. And oh, what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to at some point enter Kerbin's sphere of influence but apparently this one doesn't which is a bit weird so screw that one let's let's stop tracking it because it's rubbish uh, let's get something else what do we have they're all class C let's just grab this random class C and track it there we go so in half a Kerbal year that asteroid is going to arrive in Kerbin's sphere of influence. So, I can set myself a challenge there. I would need to be at a level where I can capture a Type C asteroid before then. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. That I will I'll probably screw up, to be honest. Well, for a start, I'll probably need to go to other planets to get enough science, and if that happens, then the time it takes will mean that the asteroid has come around and killed us all. Well, it actually is going nowhere near, but we can imagine it's going to kill us all or something, because that's more interesting. So, that's quite enough now. Now I've run over time after that, so well done me. It was going to be ten minutes, and it's more than that. But whatever, that was me doing some Kerbal Space Program, and you will see me doing some more, but the Kerbal Space Program you see me doing will be better than this, because this was crap. Like everything I'm doing at the moment, it's all crap. Right, okay. I will see you in the future. Um, bye.